This is typical of what we use on most farms. It's a good quality barley or wheat and straw. It's well clean, there's no fusarium, no disease on it. It looks the right colour and it's chopped nicely in size. Hello, my name is Michael Cleary from Specialist Nutrition. I'm just going through a few dietary uh, feed ingredients there today. Ideally, if I am chopping straw for any, cow, any diet, whether it be cows or beef cattle, uh, you want to have it from the tip of your finger to the middle knuckle. So this straw will have to be chopped down to something around that length there. The reason why you want to chop straw is straw, because of its lignin material, is one of the precursors for producing acetate inside in the rumen, which is responsible then for the volatile fatty acids that produce fat, whether it be in milk or whether it be on the back of an animal. If your straw is not chopped short enough, the throughput of feed through the rumen is too slow, there hence you will not achieve the dry matter intakes if you do not get the level of feed you need through an animal. By chopping straw down, it's a bit like eating a steak for your dinner. The steak you'll always feel full after, it takes a long time to digest in your stomach, whereas if you have the equivalent of the steak in minced meat, it would break down in your stomach far faster and you'd be hungrier probably in a shorter period of time. It was very similar for it's very similar with that with straw and cattle. If the straw is chopped down nicely, uh, to that seven centimetres roughly, um, your throughput of feed through the animal will be much quicker than what it will be if you leave full length straw into the room. And if you need any more advice, please call us at Special Nutrition on 051 833 071. Thank you.